Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Moxie DIY in Java. I'm Michelle. Today's video is going to be the Christmas Mystery Swap Challenge. And I am really excited because a group of us, everyone in the challenge, will be gifted some crafting supplies and giving some crafting supplies. But each of us is getting and gifting to different people. So my supplies have been gifted to me by Tammy of the Rusted Willow. And the gifts that I gave were going to Brenda of Moner's Market. And it just keeps doing a full circle. And I am really excited for you guys to see this. I have loved watching these on YouTube. It's one of my favorite collabs to watch. And I am so excited to be a part of one. So I'm really excited and nervous at the same time. <laughs> now the stipulations of these boxes were that they couldn't be more than $20 and they could consist of anything. Could be thrifted, Dollar Tree, Walmart, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, whatever. But the cap was $20 and there are three challenge items. And that means that we must use those three items in at least one DIY. So without further ado, let's get into this box. Okay. Here it is. Oh, I already see some calendars. Can't wait. Oh, how exciting. These are the good ones too. Okay. Gnome for the holidays. Super cute. Oh, there's a note. Aw, thank you, Tammy. These are so yummy. Oh, I can't wait. My dog is interested too. <laughs> Sweet little card. And it says, Michelle, hey girl, I'm so excited to see what you make out of all the stuff I sent. After you open the challenge items, I hope we can still be friends. Oh no. <laughs> I sent chocolate for your crafting pleasure. LOL, happy crafting, Tammy the Rusted Willow. P.S. I have horrible handwriting. Your handwriting is much better than mine, <laughs> so I could totally read it. Thank you so much, Tammy. So we'll get to the challenge items last. Okay, A little plaque. Oh, these never came to my Dollar Tree. I never saw these. That's exciting. It's got a little hook on the back. Okay. Got some napkins. Oh my gosh, girl, you put a lot in here. Some trees. So if you saw one of my previous videos, I made a swag with the Halloween trees. So... Maybe I can do something with these. I've got two of them also. Decorative mesh in green and red. Oh, I love this ribbon. I've gotten this in the past. It's good ribbon. That's a challenge item, so I'm going to hold that off. Oh, Tammy, girl. Vintage books. Oh, I love the smell of books. <laughs> Do any of you love the smell of books? Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to DIY these, but they are gorgeous. We'll figure something out. Okay, a galvanized word, happy. Oh, these never came to my Dollar Trees either. Or if they did, they sold out very quickly. It's the uh, wooden bead uh, picture frame. Okay, my wheels are turning. I'm, I'm, I've got some ideas. Cute little camera picture frame. Yes, the quintessential tumbling tower blocks. Every crafter needs these. 
<laughs> Another vintage book. Oh, I love it. Look at look at the sign. Oh my gosh, I just love vintage books. Oh, oh how cute. It's a little red truck lights. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited about this. It's the black canvas. Once again, we never had this at my Dollar Tree, so I'm really excited for this one. Okay, I think that's it. So now we're on to the challenge items. Yes. All right, I've got my three challenge items here. Um, let's open the biggest first. It's very lightweight. It kind of feels like paper mache. We'll see. <laughs> Not paper mache. <laughs> it's plastic. Oh my gosh. It's a pink flamingo. Okay. Okay. We'll make this work. <laughs> okay. Challenge item number two. <laughs> All right, it's one of the snakes. Once again, I did use these in a previous uh, fall video and um, I can post it up above. Okay. All right. All right. I think we can do this. All right. Hopefully the third one is not too hard. This one is smushy. Faux fur muffler. All right. This screams Christmas, so I know I can figure something out. All right. So that is everything from the box. Tammy, you sent me a ton and I love it. And I still love you even though you sent me a pink flamingo. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I will figure it out though. So stay tuned and you'll see how I DIY these. I found this piece of cardboard in my stash and I'd say it's probably about 10 inches uh, where I'm wrapping it right now. And I'm just wrapping and wrapping until I like thickness of the, we're gonna make essentially a large tassel. And now I'm going to put this loop through the bead. It took a little doing. I had to poke it with the scissors and some other things, but it finally came through and you're just gonna pull it a bit through, not all the way, and then knot it around that tassel. And this will be the hanger that will be your angel's head. And also you'll be able to hang it on the tree or wherever else. On top of the bead, I'm going to make a double knot to keep that in place. Now this is just some angel wing cutouts that I made from an old box that was gonna be recycled and we're going to glue it to the inside of that muffler. There's a felt side and a faux fur side, so we're gluing it to the felt side. And as you can see, once you cut it, it becomes two pieces. So we're going to glue those pieces together where the wings are, so that way they don't come apart when we get them onto our angel. Now when I put glue on these parts of the wings, some of the glue did show through, and to fix that I just kind of smushed some of the faux fur around that glue to cover it up, and it did a really good job of camouflaging it. These mini craft sticks are from Walmart, and I'm just going to glue those to give the wings a little bit more stability. As I said during the unboxing, this is a huge playlist and all of us are being hosted by Brenda over at the Monner's Market and Shawnee Lee over at Glitzy Stitches. And this has been 
so exciting and so fun to be a part of. And I hope that you will watch the entire playlist because I'm sure there are going to be some really interesting items that were given and made into some really beautiful decor. So be sure to check out the playlist that will be listed down below and I will have Shawnee Lee and Brenda's channels listed down below as well. Okay, we're going to get our painting out of the way. First thing we're gonna do is cut off the tail and the head of this snake. Now, this is going to go around our flamingos. That went flying. <laughs> this is going to go around our flamingos neck. So I kind of measured it out and I'm gonna do my staining method of water and paint in a plastic baggie. This is my favorite way of painting these types of things as well as wooden beads and it does a really good job. And then we're gonna paint this wooden plaque with just some simple white paint. Now onto the trees. We're not going to be using any of the plastic hardware that comes with it. All we're going to do is just put the two ends of the trees together to make a horizontal swag. We're going to use two zip ties and we're going to put them on loosely at first so that way we can make sure that these trees are exactly where we want them to be. I like to put a dab of hot glue on my cut zip ties just to prevent any scratching or poking. And now we're on to the flamingo. <laughs> we're going to need pink flowers. I chose to use these Easter lilies and the poinsettias because I think that they looked really pretty. And all we're going to do is we're just going to cut off the base of these Easter lilies and then just spread them apart. We're not going to cut these particular ones yet. We have the tail feathers on. We will be following the direction of these feathers with the rest of the petals of the leftover flowers. Now that we have the base layer down, we're going to move on to the poinsettias. Now all I'm going to do here is just remove the petals completely so that way I can use them like feathers, but we're going to reserve the insides because we're going to need them later. I didn't really have any rhyme or reason to how I put these on, I just layered them over the Easter lily petals and filled some spaces. I did try to keep the more glittered ones towards the top of the feathers. Once again, I'm trying to follow the direction of the wing feathers, just so that way it looks a little more natural. I am also on Instagram and Pinterest, and if you are as well, I hope that you will come and look me up. Now we're going to paint the beak. For this swag, we are sticking with pink, white, and black. So that yellow just does not work. <laughs> so we're going to paint the beak and then we will uh, go over the black part again once the white is dry. I found these mini pink ornaments at Walmart and this particular one says, let it snow. And it's really adorable. So what I'm going to do is I cut off the twine that was holding it and we're going to put it onto this larger twine, glue it down, and then we'll put the ornament on top to make it look like it's hanging from this plaque. Cut this decal off on my silhouette and it says, just not here. So the plaque in total is going to say, let it snow, just not here. And because this font is pretty skinny, I'm going to go over it with some matte Mod Podge just to keep any letters from falling off. Mm -hmm. 
Now that I like the placement of the flamingo, we're going to attach a zip tie to the back. And to do that, I'm just going to use hot glue and some scrap ribbon to keep it in place. Our girl needs some black added back to her beak. So I'm gonna use a Sharpie. I find that that's easier for me to make straighter lines and then fill it in with black paint. Now that the snake is fully dry, we're going to attach it around her neck and make it into a wreath. To keep it in place, I'm going to use a couple dabs of hot glue and also some of the branches from the trees. These lights were in my stash, but they came from the Dollar Tree. So these roses can glue flat. We're going to cut off the end of the pink part and the end of the green part, and then they'll be able to be glued flush to the wreath. During the filming of this video, we were having a terrible windstorm, so you will notice in a little bit, my lighting will change because we lost power for a little bit. The crafting must go on. So now I'm taking the ferns and leaves that were part of that same rose bush and I'm just attaching them and winding them around uh, different elements of this wreath just to fill it out a little bit. And here's where the lights went out. These are the insides of the poinsettias and I'm just trimming the ends so that they can fit a little closer to the wreath. As you can see I pre-arranged some flowers and ornaments. Everything is from the Dollar Tree. These are the roses and ornaments and I just tried to stick within the pink, white, black, or gold families. This is some Dollar Tree ribbon that was made into a shoelace bow. Now that I like the placement of the plaque, I'm just going to tack it down with some glue. Oh my gosh, I love how this turned out. I hope you guys like it too. Now to hang it, I just looped together some of the fronds from the trees to make a hanger in the back. Found this beautiful printable online and it was perfect for this DIY. So I took the gnome for the holiday sign and pre-painted it white and now I'm just going to fit the printable to this sign. Now as you can see it does not fit all the way to the bottom but that's okay. So what I did was that I painted the black on there to make it look like the little road continued and I'm going to use these paints to continue the colors of the scene. We're going to use the plastic of this frame to figure out which parts we need to cut out. Now I want the little boy towing the dog on the sled as the scene for inside the camera but it's a little too wide so what I'm going to do is cut where the boy is holding the rope for the sled and we're going to make that rope look shorter so that way the whole thing will fit inside the frame. Thank you. 
If you are enjoying this video so far, I hope that you will consider subscribing and turning on those notifications and even hitting the like button on this video. It really helps me out and it also tells me what kind of content you guys like. My subscribers are pretty amazing and in my opinion, the best of YouTube and I hope that you will consider joining us. Now I am not a painter, so my version of this will not look like the painting. But like I said, all I'm going to do is just include the colors from the painting so that way it doesn't look like it's as big of a separation between the graphic and plain white. You will see in a little bit that I do add a little extra pieces from another printable. It's the exact same painting, I just printed it twice. You don't have to do this. Um, I did it because I thought it was going to show and it ended up not, but you can do whichever you prefer. If you want to use two printables, that's awesome. If not, that's awesome too. I'm just cleaning up the edges with my sander. Now I'm centering the camera close to the area where I cut out the boy with his sled. And I do add some vinyl to the end because I felt like it needed something. And as you can see, it says holiday memories. Now I pre-painted the piece black because I have found that if you have black underneath these calendar prints, it keeps the black from the dates and the months from showing through. Now I don't know if you can tell, but this piece does have slats in it and I wanted to keep the look of those. So I'm going to be cutting the print in the size of the slats and to make that easier on myself, I'm just using scissors to score it. To finish it out, we're just going to use some antiquing wax and go along all of the wood parts. I had a blast making these and I hope that you enjoy how they turned out too. Comment down below and let me know which one is your favorite. My favorite is actually the pink flamingo. I loved how that turned out and it, it was beyond my expectations. I 
want to thank you guys for joining me. I hope that you have very happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. And until I see you in the next video, take care.